The Titans have been bad beat city so far this season. Is this the week they finally respect our coin? We're going to find out in just a second. But first, I want to tell you about a special over at Wager Talk. Coupon code FBALL100, F-B-A-L-L-100, gets you $100 off any college football NFL combo pack, any handicapper on the site. And if college football isn't your thing, don't worry. We have a, a coupon code specific for NFL. It's NFL50 for $50 off any package that's specific to the NFL, any handicapper uh, on the website. So go try those out. They'll be good all week. FBALL100, NFL52 coupon codes for you this week. Okay, Packers, Titans. Man, I I've got to say, as someone that's been on the Titans so far back-to-back -back weeks, I felt a little bit robbed. Um, really felt like that they were the right side against the Bears and thought that that was a just a brutal uh, lost not to cover plus four. And then it, it pretty much happens again the next week, not quite as uh, uh, gut wrenching, um, you know, in, in not quite as gut, gut wrenching fashion against the Jets. Uh, but man, they lead most of the game. It's close most of the game. And then um, the Jets drive down and, of course, finish off the drive to score a touchdown instead of a field goal to go up seven. And then, you know, the, the Titans kind of stall out in goal to go and, and that was all she wrote back to back sort of excruciating losses if you've had titans plus four uh but i'm i'm coming back again with them this week because I, i've still seen more bad than good so i mean listen will levis he's got to avoid the uh the just the back breaking mistake uh which has really been the their in my opinion the reason the titans haven't won either of these first two games because Outside of the sort of egregious mistake, everything else from the Titans has been pretty solid. And that extends to Levis. Like, Levis hasn't played poorly. It's just he's made a really bad error in a really bad spot now in, in both games. Um, but the good news here is I don't think they're going to need as much of Levis to, to have success in this game. Um, I think that this is I, I think this is going to be a much more run-oriented game plan from the Titans for a couple of reasons. One, the Packers run defense is not very good. Uh, they weren't very good last year. Uh, they were a bottom, I think, seven or eight unit the uh, entire season. And they, they haven't looked great so far this year. The Eagles ran the ball all over that team in week one. And, and I think the Titans, who have a pretty strong run game, are, are going to be able to sort of lean on that. And not only are they going to be able to move the ball on the ground, but it also is going to give it's going to give Le Levis less opportunity uh, to make sort of the uh, you know the egregious error that's killed us the last couple of weeks uh, backing the Titans. So you know again, I still think the Titans probably you know win or at minimum cover those first two games without the egregious mistake. And I think it's more likely that he avoids it here in a game where. He's likely, you know, kind of leaning on the rushing attack more. Um, I felt like the Packers were able to sort of hide Malik Willis last week. Um, you know, he, he was, of, co of course, the backup quarterback. Jordan Love, injured in the Eagles game, did not play last week. Um, looks like he's going to be out at, at least another week, maybe two. Um, you know, it was it was sort of the perfect storm, though, for the, for the Packers with Willis. Uh, they led almost the entire game. Uh, they were able to sort of run the ball at will against what is a pretty weak run defense from the Colts, at least, you know, so far through a couple games. And that was huge because they, you know, they didn't expose, in my opinion, a poor quarterback in Willis. He only had to throw the ball 14 times, just 14 pass attempts uh, for Willis in last, last week's game. So in my opinion, they were kind of able to hide him and, and they really didn't need to do anything different because they were, sitting on a lead almost the entire game. Uh, I just don't think that that's going to be the case here for a couple of reasons. One, that's one thing the Titans have done well. They've, they've got out to the lead. It's been playing with the lead that, that they've struggled with. Um, but they're, the Titans are very, very strong against the run. So even right from the get-go, I, I don't think the Packers are going to be able to come out and just like establish the run, you know, kill clock via the run they're they're gonna if they do that i think it's gonna be three and out punts and, and that's gonna force willis to make some plays here uh more, much more so than he had to against the colts the reason i like that in favor of the titans is the titans know this guy 
he was on their team the last couple of years that, you know, there was a point in time uh, where he looked like he might be the quarterback of the future. That was of course, pre uh, Levis getting drafted and playing well last year. And they, they should, if anyone knows um, Willis front to back, it should be this Titans team. So, you know, I I'm still of the opinion that Malik Willis is a poor quarterback. Um, he, he didn't really ever do anything to, you know, lead me to believe he was a good quarterback during his time with, with Tennessee. And then last week, like, you know, again, I I felt like he was able, you know, the Packers were able to do a a very good job sort of, you know, not exposing him, uh, leaning on the run only through it 14 times. Uh, and and again, I just don't think that's going to be the case here. This is a very good Titans defense. I'm still high on this Titans team. I came into the season saying that this was the one, this was the one sort of, you know, off the radar team that was getting no hype prior to the year. Um, I, I thought that they would be, I thought that they would maybe be like a, a fringe contender in this division this year. Uh, maybe the one team that that can kind of come out of nowhere to press the Texans in this division. And really, I haven't changed my tune there. Um, I think they could have, it could easily be two and zero at this point. A 17 nothing lead to the Bears, um, you know, leading the majority of the game with the Jets, both games coming down basically to the last possession. So it's been an unlucky start for the Titans. Um, I'm not, you know, it will, will, it'll be yet to be seen if they can like really turn it around. But being at home here, short favorite, I laid the minus two and a half. I, I love how they match up with the Packers. Uh, with the Packers with Willis at quarterback. I don't think Willis is going to have a good game here. If anything, I think the Titans uh, could force him into having a pretty poor game. And if the Packers can't run the ball like they did last week, I think they're in trouble. So I laid the two and a half with the Titans. I like it quite a bit. I expect them to win this game. And they're not going to leave anything to chance. That's for for, for sure, based on how the season has started. Uh, if the Titans get a lead, they're going to have every sort of reason to to want to put that game away. So I have no problem laying the short number. I think the Titans get a win here. Titans minus two and a half, and it is a 4% client play for me. So saved you a few dollars there. That's one that's going to be on my page for sale. And it's uh, I'm giving it to you here for free for watching this video. So please like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Uh, but yeah, please like and subscribe our channel so we can continue to give you free videos free picks. And uh, I hope everyone has a great NFL week three. We'll see you next week.